Thank you, Christina. And spring officially arrives March 20th. And for one local family, it's the start of what they hope will be a new season in their life. Here's the story with Jerry Hayes. The road to being successful at farming can be long, but if you have the drive, the journey can be rewarding. I always knew it was what I wanted to get back to. Seth Hubert is a fourth generation farmer. His great great grandfather immigrated from Germany in the 1800s and settled in Madison County. In 1917, Seth's great grandfather, George, bought a 78 acre farm in Newmarket. George's son took the farm into the 1900s, growing cotton, corn, and even some sugar cane. My grandfather passed in 1990, and my dad then assumed operations, and, and we had grown to about 2,000 acres. That included land they owned and rented. The family faced a big decision 13 years later when Seth's father died from a heart attack. We all made the decision ultimately to cease operations for a little while. But farming was in Seth's blood. They still had about 250 acres with a degree in crop science from Alabama A&M. So there's some soybean stubble. He started farming again in 2016, but making a living from row crops like corn, soybeans, and wheat can be tough. Absolutely, yeah, sure. Um, so you've really got to diversify, which is another reason we wanted to try something you know, and take a small acreage and make it make more per yeah. acre. Seth and his wife Kaylee are planting another seed. Me and my wife always knew we wanted to do something different and unique. It hit him one day while watching his two-year-old daughter in the yard. Since she's been able to walk, she's loved to pick anything that resembled a flower yeah. in the yard. His mind headed west to where tulips are grown from bulbs from the Netherlands. People say bet the farm and <laughs> I really probably did, if you want me to be honest about it. I, I have no shame in, in admitting that. And he's going big. So there's 212,288 bulbs. He knows exactly how many they planted. Well, I better know as much as I spent on them, yes sir. <laughs> the planter he ordered didn't work the way he had hoped and they needed to get them in the ground. Yes sir, we pivoted and we hand planted all 212,000 of them. More than five dozen varieties in 65 raised beds on four acres. Friends and family, you know, helped out there for, for a day or two and, and we, we got her done. And this is what they're hoping to see during blooming season that will last four to six weeks. Seth and his wife want to create a place for people to get away, relax, and enjoy the history of the old farm and what the future has to offer. In Newmarket, Jerry Hayes, News 19. Hubert Family Tulips hopes to have a grand opening soon. They'll have food trucks on the weekend. An admission will be $5 per person, and you can cut your own tulips to take home for $2.50 per stem. And you can take the bulb to start your own flower farm. For a link to their website, Facebook, and Instagram pages, head to whnt.com and look for the story.